guys, it's me, Shlee. Welcome back for another MRE video. Today we're gonna to be enjoying MRE Menu 2 Beef Shredded A Barbecue Sauce. This one was sent to me by Scott and Eliana from Colorado, so thank you guys so much for that. Some of you may recognize this ration because I have tried it one time before on my channel. If you haven't seen that, I'll link that up here so you can go watch that review as well. Long story short, that review was not ideal because there was a hornet involved and I had camera problems and I had really been wanting to redo that ration review and now thanks to Scott and Eliana, I can. This particular ration is about three years older than the one I did previously, so we'll get to do some comparing and contrasting, which is super fun. And I know I like this menu, I'm very excited to eat it, so let's go ahead, open it up, and see what happens. Alright, this is from Ameriqual, so we do have our standard double packaging. Right off the bat, here's our main beef shredded and barbecue sauce. Date code on this one is 0226. We have some wonderful nutrition facts for anybody who wanted to see those. Here's our side, black beans in a seasoned sauce. Accessories packet. Oatmeal cookie, yay, these are always good. Oh my gosh, yes! We got cheese spread with jalapenos. I think in my entire MRE career, which has been short, I've only had this once, maybe twice. So I'm very excited to try it again. It's always a treat. We got beverage base powder orange. Is this like a joke? Because I seriously feel like I get orange flavored drinks in every ration. My last ration I had one. I'm not really complaining. It's just, it's becoming funny to me now because I don't really like orange flavor, but here we are again with another orange. We have tortillas plain. The beautiful brown MRE spoon. Our hot beverage bag. As well as our flameless ration here. All right, that's everything. We are looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and get the main heating up. I also have to decide, do I want to heat up the tortillas or the black beans? I think I'm going to heat up the black beans. I feel like that makes way more sense. So I'm going to put these two in the ration heater and then we'll get started on opening and testing everything else. And now we wait. And I did lay the tortillas underneath the ration in its little cardboard sleeve just in the hopes they get kind of warm. I've heard all the red products are way better warm, so I do want to try that. I'm really excited about those black beans. I did not get those in my last ration. They just didn't come with the ration at all, but they sound really good, so I'm excited to try them. Right now, let's go ahead and open up this accessory packet. We have some toilet paper, iodized salt, moist pellet, Creamer non-dairy dry, two pieces of gum, and oops, a surprise packet of Splenda, American flavored Splenda, the best flavor, and the standard Bill's Brew freeze-dried coffee. Next, let's go ahead and make up this beverage base powder orange. I will see if this tastes any different from beverage base powder orange type three. That's nine times out of 10 what I get, it seems like. So let's see how this one compares. So we're supposed to add this to half a canteen cup of water. I'm just gonna use this lovely Team Schley mug. Cause my canteen cup is here, but it's more than half full. This is a little bit closer, I think, to the actual amount of water you need. By Schley math, it's closer anyway. While I'm mixing up this drink, I do want to ask you guys, let me know what you think about the background, the different setup, if you care at all, or if you don't, what you think. It's really cloudy today, so I'm having to film with a different setup, not in front of my window. I think this one's pretty good, but I want to hear from you guys what you like best. All right, this is pretty well dissolved, so let's give it a taste. It's definitely different from the type three orange drink. It's a lot weaker in flavor, 
could be because I added too much water, but it just doesn't have that really strong, sweet and tart, Sunny D type flavor that I always talk about. This one I think I like better because of that. This tastes a lot more like a watered down Gatorade. And in my opinion, it's better. Moving right along, we have an oatmeal cookie. Y'all know I like these. I always think they're so good. And I'm excited that this is what our dessert is in this ration. The last time I tried this menu, I had applesauce instead, which is also good. But I don't think anybody would actually choose applesauce over cookies, given the choice. Let's see, where do I want to put this? I think I'll put the black beans here, so I'm gonna put the cookie over here. Oh, it's perfect! Look how perfect! Barely even any crumbs, that's impressive. This cookie is so aesthetic, wow. Not sure if the camera's gonna pick it up, but do you see those big sugar crystals on the top, like a bakery cookie? I like that, that's a nice touch. The cinnamon smell from this cookie is unreal. It smells so good. It is fall time, as y'all know, and the smell of cinnamon just awakens all kind of fall feelings in me. I love it. You can see the big pieces of oatmeal in here as well, which is so nice, so wholesome looking. I'm gonna go ahead and have a bite of this because I really want to. Make that two bites. It's so good. It is so good. The only complaint I have about this cookie is I wish it was soft because I love soft cookies, but I understand why that's not really possible in MREs. That being said, this crunchy oatmeal cookie is better than some soft cookies I've had in the past. This cookie is so good. I feel like I could write like an essay about this cookie. One of my favorite things about it is it's not overly sweet. I know I mentioned the sugar on the top, but actually within the cookie, it's not super sweet, and that really gives the cinnamon a chance to shine. That's the main flavor you get. And then you have the sugar as kind of like a background layer, like a backdrop. And it is so good. It's such a good combination. I don't know about y'all, but a lot of the time when I have cinnamon things, it's like there's just a tiny hint of cinnamon, and I want a lot of cinnamon. I'm a big cinnamon fan. And really the crunch in this cookie is nice because it's like a crunchy oatmeal texture. It's not just a dry, overbaked cookie texture. And even though it is crunchy, it's not dry. It's not crumbly. It's just, it's so good. Perfectly browned and golden. And I'm gonna have another bite. Next up, we have our cheese spread with jalapenos. In case anybody was wondering, yes, I'm planning to do another mega bite with everything in it at the end of this ration. I'm already thinking about how interesting that's gonna be with just these two components. I'm gonna go ahead and knead this up really quick. So I actually haven't been filming for that long. It's only been a few minutes. So the main is not ready. So I'm gonna to have to wait and be patient. You guys wanna see what's on my shelf? Okay, here's our main, our side, and our tortillas. These are actually pretty warm, which is awesome considering they were just sitting underneath here. So that's a good sign. Let's get these open. See how they fared after four years. Yeah, they're definitely a little bit warm and nice and soft. A little bit stuck together, but that's okay. All right, they look good. I'm happy with that. Now let's unpackage the main and the side, shall we? Okay, here's our main, and this is nice and hot. It's actually too hot for me to hold my hand on at some points. So let's knead it up a little and distribute that. Looking good, smelling better. Now the trick is going to be to not get barbecue sauce on my sweater. All right, here are our black beans. I don't think these got quite as hot as the main, but they're still warm, which is good. Okay, let's dig in. I actually wanna try these beans first because I did not get these last time. I'm very excited to see what these are about. There's a close up for y'all. A little glamour shot. Is that focusing? Here we go. These are a great side, great flavor. They're nice and warm and they're, they're whole beans. They're not mashed up, they're not overly cooked. So they, they didn't become like refried beans. And they do have a little, little, little bit of an al dente sort of thing going on the outside where the bean shell is, or whatever the scientific term is for the outer coating of the bean. 
As far as the flavor, they're very mild. I can eat them, so they're very mild. They do have a little bit of ancho chili powder in them, which I love. I love that flavor, and that does come through. They're very light on salt. Not that I think that's a bad thing, because I'm going to cover these in cheese spread in about five minutes, but that is something to note if you like really salty food. The seasoned sauce on here is great. It's very flavorful. I like it a lot, but it's not too flavorful as to be overpowering, I don't think. I don't think it's gonna to compete too much with these two. Speaking of these two, let's dig into the main, then we'll do some combinations. There's a really big piece of beef right here. You guys see that? Very nice, very sizable. It's so tasty. This really reminds me of the barbecue sandwiches you can get from Bucky's, the gas station. I love those. I think they're so good. That's what this tastes like to me. For the most part, the beef is totally, totally shredded. There's a few pieces that are bigger here and there, but for the most part, very small shreds and it's really tender. This barbecue sauce is so good. It's a very sweet barbecue sauce. There's really no heat to it, it's just sweet, but it has a very good, rich barbecue type flavor. A little bit of smoke flavor in there also. A little vinegar twang and some tomato flavoring in there as well. A great combination as far as barbecue sauces go. All right, now we have to do some combinations. So I'm gonna take a tortilla and go ahead and spread it with this cheese spread because I know I'm gonna put this on there. Okay, we got our cheese spread. I'm gonna put the beans down next because I do think they could benefit a little bit from the salt in this cheese spread. So I want them in direct contact. And then I'm gonna put the barbecue on top. This doesn't really need any salts or any improvements to be honest in my opinion, but you know, we're, we're gonna see what happens for science. Let's see how good this is. I love this menu number. The cheese spread pairs so well with the barbecue flavor, it really does because you've got the ultimate salty cheese spread, a little bit of spice, and then the really sweet, rich barbecue. Those flavors, it's like a match made in heaven. It's so good. Honestly, I don't taste the beans in here very much after adding the other two flavors, but as I said, the beans were quite mild in comparison to the cheese spread and the barbecue. The beans just not, are not as strongly flavored, and I think that's good because you don't want too much going on in here. You want a balance. And the beans are a good sort of placeholder for that because they add a lot of nutrition, but they don't compete as far as flavors. They don't throw everything off. Really, I think the best thing about the beans in here is the amount of texture they add. They're soft enough that if you wanted to, you could take your spoon and mash them up and make them more of a refried bean consistency. But if you don't do that, they really give you something to chew on in here because the beef, completely shredded, not really a lot going on there as far as chewing. And you've got the tortilla and the cheese spread, which are also very soft. But the beans add texture. They give you really something to chew on. And it's nice. I think it really, again, balances out this whole thing super well. Okay, this is my last bite of this particular tortilla go around. So I'm gonna open this one up and go ahead and prepare a mega bite. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the barbecue, a couple more beans, and just a touch more cheese spread because I wanna get everything in here in this bite. And then I'm gonna put some oatmeal cookie right on the top. That sounds so strange. There we go. That looks, well, I can't say it looks good, but it's on there now. Okay, guys, there it is. There's my final bite. I'm really not too concerned with this because everything I already like in here, aside from the oatmeal cookie, I like that just, you know, separately. But talk about some texture that will definitely give us some crunch. Why is it kind of good? Okay, hear me out. The cookie, the oatmeal cookie actually kind of takes on like a churro flavor with all that cinnamon mixed in with the other Mexican type style flavors. It's not bad. I'm really surprised by that, to be honest. I thought it would be so weird. I really can't even say it was bad. I wouldn't choose to combine the cookie with the rest of these components on a normal day. But if you're the type of person who likes churros and you like cinnamon in other types of spicy dishes, I think you would actually like to do that. The crunch was serious. It really gave you a lot of crunch. And the oatmeal flavor, it gets totally washed out by the savory flavors from the cheese and the barbecue. The sweet brown sugar type flavor from the cookie also gets washed out by the barbecue sweetness. So all that comes through is the cinnamon. And again, it just adds another layer of spice. It's really interesting how that happened, actually. I never would have expected that. I'm really kind of shocked now, but there you have it. Okay, the oatmeal cookie combination kind of left me speechless. I really don't have much else to say about this ration. I really enjoyed everything here. I already knew I liked the main. These black beans, these are a great side. Really glad I got to try those. They pair really well with everything else in here. The cookie, I thought the cookie was a good dessert before, but seeing it from a churro type standpoint, 
it makes even more sense in here. It really does. The orange drink is okay. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up off camera by making myself an Omo cookie free taco. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. Thank God there were no hornets involved this time because that would have not been fun. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.